Welcome to the Void, everybody. My name is Liliana, also known as the Transfiendling, and today we're going to be continuing Hellgate London, getting one step closer to ridding planet Earth of demons. So, made it to London Bridge Station, as you can see, and our current objective is to speak with someone named Airy. I wonder if she has a quirk that lets her uh, do weird things. I also note, apparently, I don't know if it's automatically... Like, I don't know if it's just code that just activates during certain times of the year, or if there's an actual update that I missed through Steam, but apparently, since it's, you know, the holiday season, there's decorations up. Also, this place is very, like, um, green-whatever station. Greenwich station, I think, and the enemies spawn here. Oh, hey! Well, you do have white hair, so, you know... Hello. Hello. The first tier sent word of your arrival. Enter the Thule Bridge portal to, s to proceed to Tower Bridge. You must prevent Arachtonis from delivering the artifact to Sidonai. Sarsing asked me to remind you that although the object you seek cannot be corrupted, recovering from hell would be an almost impossible feat. Goodbye. So, I don't have to worry about this thing getting into... Like, I don't have to worry about them actually corrupting it. It's just... If they take it into hell, then that's going to be a problem. So, I need to get into... I need to cross Tower Bridge to get to the towers, it looks like. So, I'm going to be back whenever I am about to enter... What's it called again? So, once I'm about to enter the towers, I'll be back. See you soon. And welcome back. Now, I don't know exactly what's going on. However, uh, there's this giant glowing... Thing in the distance so um i think yeah it looks like it's just like a structure that maybe either a texture is leaking through or maybe there's like new lighting added to it like there's some sort of tech installed into it um but there's been a definite uptick in the amount of undead i faced getting to this point um admittedly given you know as i've said i use this for my like mindless adhd game though some, eh, something has used that position I am a bit overleveled. Um, it hasn't been a particular challenge, but uh, it's definitely not just a uh, a normal tile piece that I'm used to seeing. So I thought you all may as well uh, want to come along and see what the fuck's gonna happen with it. Got some weird looking demon bone poles. Got lots of these little effigy looking things. What are you? Lancer. Oh, yo, you're like. You're like fucked up centaurs. That's kind of dope. I don't know why that word has slipped back into my vocabulary, but it has. And it's slightly confusing. Oh, okay. Individually, y'all are cool. I don't like whenever there's lots of you, though. Y'all are, y'all are kind of fast. Who's shooting at me? Okay, you're all demons. Cool. So, none of you are gonna fill my little... Uh, minigame thing. That's fine. What the fuck? Oh. It's the patch messing with the glitch, or with the pathing. The fix messing with the pathing. I can words, I can English. Also, am I really into, like, that's not really in my aspirations to become, like, a voice actor. I have recently kind of gotten increasingly curious and kind of been digging around with my own voice just to figure out how do people make, like, because, like, a lot of things that you hear in games are, vo like, are things that people made with their actual, like, voice boxes. Like, sure, a lot of times they're, like, edited or whatever, but still, they're, like, actual things that actual people made. Uh, and so it's just like, how... You, in theory, have, at least technically, a very similar vocal cord structure that, you know, I am supposedly equipped with. How in the Void's name 
did you manage to do that? And it's, it's a fun, I don't know, I have fun with it. It's I've gotten better at growling. That was also inspired by someone I saw on TikTok who like, I think I listened to it blind the first time and like it sounded just like an actual tiger. And then like I, like I was just scrolling, like one of my cats distracted me. So I was like, oh, why is there a tiger growling on TikTok? Then I look back and no, it's just this, cool ass lady like at her mic and like what pardon me <laughs> so dragoon okay so you actually hit me with your thing wait so there's like a whole bunch of types of you we have like riders we have lancers we have dragoons but do we also have archers sabers in archer sabers rulers. Also, do you have any casters? I know it's not super niche, but still bonus points if you understand what I'm making, what joke I'm making. I feel like I saw a legendary fucker somewhere. It's a new class of enemies called Legendary Fucker Shit. Oh, of course. I mean, actually, you look kind of awesome. Like, you look like if somebody took a demon and enhanced it with, like, Hunter Tech. That looks cool. That looks cool as hell. I don't want you getting close to me because you hurt. But that looks cool as hell. Yeah, that's right, you better run. <laughs> oh god, fuck, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I'm gonna kill your ass. I thought we were a bit closer to the towers, but that's fine. There you are, I found you. Time to die. Me, I have no desire to, er, <laughs> me, I have no intention on going into voice acting. Multiple people in my life. You'd be really good at voice acting. Okay. Dunno. I do like that you're big enough that both of my little bone spears hit you. The towers. Is this the... I think this is the boss fight I'm thinking, like I, I thought that we were going to get to earlier. Maybe not. This is an inside area. I don't... Oh wait, do I remember this area? I don't know if I remember this area. This is... Wait, no, this feels vaguely familiar. Oh god, there's... Oh hey, well I mean, that's helpful, at least I get that taken care of. I do... I, I think I do remember this area. It's... Very, very faint memories, but... I do remember, like, climbing a giant-ass tower similar to this. Yeah, yeah, you pain leeches are all the same. I'll show up with your weird hentai looking faces. There's no other word for that. You look like something out of James Bond's nightmare. So we've had, if what I've heard about movies is correct, I don't pay a whole lot of attention to movies and things, we've had a female James Bond recently, I think. Again, I don't keep up with a whole lot of movies and stuff. I keep up with, I kind of keep up with games, that's about it. Uh, next, 
<laughs> Next, let's let's see us in Ace Jace, uh, James Bond. That would be hilarious, given you know the trope that you know. There's always someone that he seduces. Or at least that's my understanding of the James Bond series. I don't know why, I just feel like that would be really hilarious. It's like, that has the potential for so many wonderful shenanigans. And I say this as somebody who is on the ace spectrum myself. Depending on how people choose to look at things. Some people count Demi is on the ace. Or at the very least, grace scale. Some don't, at the very least. I'd say I'm on the ace spectrum because it's really hilarious to tell people, hey, hello, I'm a soft cubus, subset of succubus, and I'm ace. <clears throat> really funny conversation I had with a friend of mine recently. She's like, how does that even work? I'm like, it's a fucking time, let me tell you. I suspected that using my bone explosion ability would uh, have that effect. To be like, oh, there's lots of you. No, there's not. Not anymore. Though it would be nice if I knew. Oh wait, do I have to go down now? Oh wait, no, there's a staircase. Oh no, there's the frame of what used to be a staircase. Oh, there's a staircase. I just have to go down. I don't mind doing that. Oh, that's just cheating. I mean, not really. But that's just cheating. Boosting zombies on the floor above you. Now that's just not fair. Gosh darn it. I was really hoping I could just skip a little bit of things and just hop down there. I also like how I'm... Like, I have... The one thing running. The, like... Oh, hey. We're gonna fix the issues that, you know... Like, the thing, like, fixes the issues that this game has. Or at least some of them. And there's just so many enemies, the game just, like... Nope! And it really just... It has to be with just the same version of the game, because... Never had this issue before. I don't even know how the, where the fuck that thing was. Oh, there it was. Well, nothing good anyway. It's fine. Let me see. Oh, where do I go from here? Ah, you know, the staircase over here. That might be a potential avenue of egress. <laughs> Reminded me of a really smart ass thing I heard about that I can't share, but it's good. Okay. Also, apolog apologies. I do have a uh, have a bit of a headache, but for some reason, not going away. But. YouTube does love consistency, or at least so I've been told by people who have been doing this for way longer than I have, so I'm going to trust they know what the void they're talking about. Kind of like whenever I do this. I only really do it anyway, so I uh, kind of know what I'm talking about. Kind of. Technically. God, I love bleach health. I genuinely love how, due to the fact that I'm a little bit overleveled, I just, I hit nine, and everything around me dies. Oh, 
don't you be laughing at me. Making those snide comments. Health, health injector. All right, let's see what we have. Kill Arachtonis. Now, if I remember correctly, this thing is something roughly the size of, like... Oh, I think I'm wrong. Oh! Hey, so y'all, you remember how at the beginning of the game, we did the little time skip adventure where Tony Stark sent us into the future? I think this is... I think this is where we fight the actual thing. Who the fuck is healing you? Cause that's um uncool, shall we say. Let's see, what level am I again? I'm 23. I'm not super over leveled, okay. Good. I should also maybe be a little bit less cocky. Is it the dragoons? Are you the one? Are you, are you the fucks who are healing people? I think it's the dragoons. <laughs> <laughs> Just dipping back into hell for a second, are ya? The fuck was that? Don't know what the fuck that was or where the fuck that came from, but okay. Come here, I just want to give you... Well, I'd say a hug, but I really, I really, I want to murder you. Oh man, this feels like a really good place to, like, level. There's just so many fucking things to kill. So much fun! For anyone who is still watching, it is, to me, really entertaining because, uh... So I have one friend who, like, uh, she's told me, like, just outright, yeah, I, I put on, like, your Hellgate thing every time I'm at work, um, just, like, in the background, which I still appreciate because that, you know, still using stuff. Then another friend who's like, yep, I, I I tried to watch your Hellgate thing, I just, I couldn't get into it. I'm like, that is absolutely fine. I am under no illusions that many, that there's a wide audience for this. I understand that, like, most of the people, if any, like, some do watch it. Like, I actually have, like, I mean, they're not, you know, astronomical, like, phenomenal amounts of views, but I do get views on these. Uh, like, I am very well aware that I am doing this for myself. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. That I'm doing this for myself and, like, 20 other people-ish. Is this the part? <gasps> this is where we actually fight the guy who looks like Lord Recluse, but like Lord Recluse, Lord Recluse's like pissed off younger brother. Okay. So, round two now. I don't have quite all the abilities that I did whenever I fought you in like the future simulation thing, but let's go. Let's let's do this. Let's see how things go. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, fuck you too. I really hope- so, one fear I kind of have. Not- 
massively, but a fear that I do have nonetheless is that there will be a point where, similar to Guild Wars 2, uh, even though like you're doing like single player things, I do have a slight fear that there will reach a point where like the game is designed to where you can only continue if you have like an actually like fully kitted out like party. Uh, because that will be, as you know, you may have inferred or guessed, um, a bit difficult given the fact that oh fucking hell. Um, but you know, given the fact that even well, it, well, given the fact that it's you know single player only, I was gonna say given that this game is dead, but not even like it's literally only available as a single single player game, at least the version I'm currently playing. So that that's a fear I have, I must admit to. I mean, I don't have to admit to it, but I'm going to. Yeah, fuck yourself. Oh shit! Hey, my loot was there. Hey, hey, wait, hold on. This is. Uh. Well, that's concerning. Uh. Everything. Everything okay? That looks um. That that looks that looks a bit like um. Hey, is that supposed to be on fire? Cause it doesn't look like it's supposed to be on fire. Oh no, isn't there some legend about like a burning bush or something like that? Oh fucking no. Hello. You needn't be afraid. I'm thank you for that reassurance. I am the sister, keeper of unity and a virtue of men. You have allied men in a common cause and so have awakened me. Come with me and bear witness to what was and what could be again. I'm not gonna have a choice in this, am I? May light guide your way. It might. <gasps> oh hey, it's like all pretty again. Well that's cool. Oh we love that. Can I ask one question, which is where the fuck is this also why is it raining ash like it is back in London? I would like to know these answers, please. You needn't be afraid. Like all living things, man has reached an end, but it is not the end. Seek the brotherhood inherent in man, yet cast aside in favor of distrust. Seek the kinship that bonds one another. Seek brotherhood, seek kinship, seek thy bro seek my brothers. Didn't you already get told something like that? Also, you have a very similar haircut to one of my other characters. Truth. Born for a singular purpose. To bend the dark. To thwart the nameless fire's unstoppable consumption of worlds. To balance. Mm -hmm. And so it was that man then sought its newfound weapon, never seeing the blade from the arm that wields it. May light guide your way. Here's hoping. I saw. Oh man, it's. Gosh darn it. I was really excited. I was like, oh, I see a legendary. It's of course it. could be helpful. It does look cool to use them. <laughs> oh! It's because of the, the one thing. It's because the... Oh, maybe not. Well, I thought maybe it was because of the, like, the little, like, the patch that's making it not flip the fuck out every single time I, uh, you know, or, like, it doesn't, you know, flip, make it not freak out in, uh, sewers. Like, not go all haywire. But apparently, no, that is apparently not the case. Also, am I taking advantage of the fact that these boils count as enemies to get... A few extra kills in for the minigame? Absolutely. So otherwise, I'm going to forget to use specifically fire damage, and then I'm going to be confused why I haven't had anything change in like two or three maps. There we go, wonderful. I 
I actually am curious what... Oh wait, do these things count? Interesting! So in other maps, they have counted towards the um, map progress thing, like the little hell invasions, but apparently in this one they don't. So that's interesting. Who do I need to talk to? Yes, I have done this. I need to talk to Aerie again. Hello. Hello! The defeat of Arachnus has caused his minions to scatter. Thanks to you, we have the capacity to make London Bridge Station safe again. Seer Singh tells me that you should go to Monument Station. Lord Arfon of the Templar awaits you there. I have opened the portal to Monument Approach. The station is accessible through there. Good journey. Goodbye. Alright, so... One boss down. I am very curious when we're going to get to that one boss that like, I remember very clearly. Because it's like a towering fucker with like absolutely massive legs. And I remember it's like something that you fight and it's like walking around is like very square. I mean, it looks kind of like a prison building, at least in what I remember. So I don't know, maybe we have to go to like the Tower of London at some point or something. And maybe that's the boss fight I'm thinking of. Who knows? But, for now, thank you everybody so much for watching. Please don't forget to be kind to yourselves and one another. And for now, it's time for some very important things. A special thanks to Darius, the first of my horde of Abyssians over on Kofi. If you'd like to be on this roster, go over to my Kofi and check out the different offerings options. The benefits range from early releases, turning over your immortal soul, choosing characters for me to cosplay, personalized self-care messages, and much, much more. Each and every one of you are very important, and thank you so much for watching, and until next time, don't forget to hydrate, masticate, and medicate, and I'll see you darlings in the next video.